Hi, this is Fearless with Fearless the Writer for Fearless Treasures. Um, thank you readers for uh, joining me, uh, both of you. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope one of them is Maddie, my granddaughter, three and a half years old. She loves cooking videos and so this she has inspired me to do this video. Um, she's coming to visit this weekend and we're going to do a video, um, just the two of us, uh, for you all for something I'm not sure what yet. Um, but today we're I'm going to make uh, chocolate covered cherries because the theme of this uh, today's blog post is chocolate covered cherries because January 3rd is National Chocolate Covered Cherry Day. Um, and just to make it really simple, uh, I made a, a dough at, kind of out of two cups of powdered sugar, a quarter cup of margarine, a quarter cup of uh, sweetened condensed milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and uh, then I took couple jars of maraschino cherries, drained them, uh, put them on a pan, uh, which I am going to go get for you right now. Ta-da! See, I'm back. <laughs> um, but anyways, these have been in the freezer for a little while to make it a little easier to work with. And the dough, if you put it in the refrigerator, it's a little bit easier to work with. And um, what I'm going to do, uh, which is in the refrigerator, I'm going to go get it too. Okay, so, ta-da! See, I'm fast. Um, so, what you do is you take the dough and um, what I actually do is I take some powdered sugar and I put it on my hands kind of like when you're working with uh, dough to make bread or something uh, or biscuits uh, so that it doesn't stick and you take a little bit like this uh, last video I tried to make um, didn't turn out so well because I talked too much and it got too gooey Anyway, so you make a little ball and you flatten it out and then you take your cherry uh, and you put it in the middle of it and just kind of wrap it around. Uh, once you get that wrapped around there, this is actually not doing so good either. But anyway, so you roll it up into a ball and after you've got it rolled into a ball, you dump it in your uh, chocolate that you've melted. Uh, you take a bag of like Nestle's chocolate and then you you coat it in uh, in that and then you take a toothpick and you get it out and when you do you set it on your tray here and it looks like so not that one that one didn't turn out so good <laughs> it looks well not that one either this is just a lot of fun <laughs> so um but you know, the whole point of my blog post is the fact that sometimes life can be messy. Um, and uh, anything, anything that is worth it usually has a little bit of a mess involved. And um, if you read the blog post, uh, you'll see a little bit more what I'm talking about. But if you like maraschino cherries, um, I have a little story to tell about that, just a real quick one. Um, when my daughter was, uh, my 27-year-old daughter, who now has the granddaughter, when she was four, um, uh, and my oldest son was 11, um, they were fighting over a cherry on a cake. And uh, usually we did, she got one cake, she got the cherry, the next time we got a cake, he got it. Well, he took his turn when it wasn't his turn, and she was very upset. And I was on the phone with um, my now husband. I was widowed at the time, and um, she wouldn't be consoled. And so she got to talk to him, and he consoled her. Um, it got her distracted from what she was upset about. <clears throat> And um, that was his first introduction to her, um, and her voice was so sweet, and she was crying. And, um, and then my son felt bad, and so um, I uh, helped him <laughs> to, uh, he apologized to her, and I helped him to buy a uh, jar of maraschino cherries to make it up to her. And it's been a joke with our family ever since. Um, and uh, so whenever we see maraschino cherries, like in the little dreams, well, you know, we can't help but think about Sean. So at the funeral, when he died five and a half years ago, we um, had a jar of maraschino cherries. And uh, also when my granddaughter uh, went Christmas shopping uh, with my daughter's best friend, um, 
she ended up giving her a jar of maraschino cherries um, because everybody knows how special that is to Desiree who misses her brother very much um, but anyway so I dedicate this video to you uh, Desiree and uh, to Sean and to his memory and I hope you enjoy reading my blog post this time um, and uh, also try the recipe you'll probably do a lot better than I did um, but I've got a lot of maraschino cherries to eat and um, also at the bottom of the blog post um, there's a place where you can actually order Russell Stouffer uh, chocolate covered cherries and just you know if you order anything through my website you get to another website through my website um, it actually helps fearless treasures uh, to continue uh, to hopefully to continue to operate and also if you'll share with your friends uh, just to get the message of the hope in Christ um, to help us to overcome our fears uh, the motto is living fearlessly uh, through life's triumphs and trials uh, through the messes that we go through um, but anyways I made a meal for a friend of mine and I was gonna take these chocolate covered cherries that I made tonight to her Hi, Debbie. Uh, she had surgery and um, had made a meal and um, so I kind of planned that things might not turn out right so I uh, got some, you know, store-bought uh, chocolate covered cherries, um, but Valentine's is coming up and um, maybe you have a sweetheart, uh, girls, ladies, you know, guys like to get things for Valentine's Day too. And so anyways, consider um, ordering your cherry suits, but um, this is a great opportunity for me to get to talk to you and for you to get to know me just a little bit better. And I'm going to try to do a few more video um, vlogs uh, for you. Um, but thank you so much. Uh, appreciate your time. And hope you were getting something done while you were listening to me. Bye. God bless.